Josh, yeah. what's 100 minus zero? 100 minus, that's 100. All right. Hey, cat, what's 100 minus zero, huh? What is it? No, okay. Hey, thing. What's 100 minus zero? Today is day 10. That's two fives, 10. And um, we're gonna be making some fettuccine. Let's go. I feel like I'm kind of celebrating a birthday because it's day 10 and everybody loves your 10th birthday, right? Game time. If you didn't know, I already made this pasta though yesterday. So I'm gonna let it warm up, sit it out here. Definitely doesn't look appetizing, but let's get What I found is this pasta has a little bit of carrots in it because I didn't get all the carrot bits out. So for this next part, what I'm gonna do is take this pasta and fold it over each other and I'm gonna cut it. thing is some people are reaching out asking me if they want to do a food swap or how they can get a hold of my pasta and I don't even really know what I'm doing these people are pretty risky but I'm excited to give away some of this pasta for free and I hope they enjoy it so we'll see what happens here in the next couple days these are a little bit thicker than I'd like but ordered a machine roller and I can't remember it's like mon something with an M Atlas 150 Super pumped about it, it'll help me get this pasta nice and thin. Sometimes I like to put on sweatbands while I'm cooking because it makes me feel like I'm a real warrior. Cooking is a sport. First trade done, traded the bow tie pasta. We got this lovely kombucha. This is a pomegranate green tea kombucha made by a local family. Can't wait to try it. Let's give it a try. That's for you. All right, cheers. Ooh, that's nice. First, Good Wendy. Good job, Wendy. I really like it. Hey. What's up? It's day 10. We'll go all out. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. But are you sure? Yeah, do it. All right, all right. <laughs> day 10, I'm gonna make pesto because I've been saying I'm gonna make it for a little while, and if you watched my video yesterday, you know I talked about that. So. That means it's time to do it. Time to do it! What do you need for pesto? Basil, 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 parsley. I think some other things too, but I don't remember. I'll find out. We got lemons, some garlic, basil, parsley, nutritional yeast. Supposed to use walnuts or pine nuts, but the grocery stores are really running out of those things. So these are cashews, we'll try that. Some pumpkin seeds. What we got going so far, I'm gonna put this on. Pretty creamy looking, no dairy, just water, olive oil, you know, smooth it out a bit. So I'm gonna just scoop a little bit out of here because this is basically concentrated. Now I'm just gonna stir it in and see what happens. All right, sauce is done. Topped off with a little lemon juice and oh my word, look at that, fettuccine looking great. Probably one of my favorite meals I made so far. I haven't even eaten it yet. Oh, hey, dinner's ready. Wow. The pasta's homemade, the pesto's homemade, everything's homemade. There's tomatoes, there's onion, there's spinach. Put a little top with fresh parsley. Let's see if I know how to do this. That's delicious. Again, it needs a little salt. Wow, nothing like eating fresh food. Tastes so good. Fettuccine are a little bit uh, 
dense and I'm still not sure quite the proper cooking. I left them in there for five minutes, which I assume was enough, but maybe it needs to be a little bit more. I thought because it was fresh, it would be cooked less, but we'll see. tastes good still. A little too al dente for me. We'll put this on any menu. Wow, this is a day 10 celebration for sure. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying watching the videos. And if you are, be sure to like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Uh, the purpose of this is just to have some fun, share some joy, eat some good food, stop spending your money, unless it's at my future restaurant, which I'll be taking orders online. I don't know, probably not. Maybe one day. Many of you have told me that you are interested in trying to make your own pasta. And I encourage you, it's not that difficult. You can do it. Go home, make your own pasta, and tell me how it is. I'd love to hear. Thanks for joining the journey.